members of the Congress, the state of the vote for President of the United States as delivered to the President of the Senate is as follows. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 537, of which a majority is 269. John F. Kennedy of the state of Massachusetts has received for President of the United States 303 votes. Richard M. Nixon of the state of California has received 219 votes. And Mr. Speaker, since this is somewhat an unprecedented situation, I would like to ask permission to impose upon the time of the members of this Congress to make a, a statement which is somewhat unprecedented. This is the first time in 100 years that a candidate for the presidency announced the result of an election in which he was defeated and announced the victory of his opponent. I do not think that we could have a more striking and eloquent example of the stability of our constitutional system and of the proud tradition of the American people of developing and respecting and honoring institutions of self-government. To John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson, who have been elected President and Vice President of the United States, to extend them those best wishes and to extend you those best wishes as all of you work in a cause that is bigger than any man's ambition, greater than any party. It is the cause of freedom, of justice, and peace for all mankind. And it is in that spirit that I now declare that John F. Kennedy has been elected President of the United States and Lyndon Johnson Vice President of the United States.